Hey guys, what's up? A lovely good afternoon to everyone. So today, once again, I come up with a very important topic. And today's topic is how we can send or trigger the alert from alert manager to Slack channel. I'm going to finish this whole process into four steps. So in the step number one, I'm going to create the channel inside the Slack. In the step number two, I'm going to set up one incoming webhook. In the step number three, I'm going to configure the incoming webhook as a receiver inside the alert manager. And in the step number four, which will be the testing stage, where we will be shut down one of the services and we'll see that whether the alert is triggered into the Slack channel or not. Hi guys, welcome back my channel, The Learning Destinations. My name is Avinash and if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So before I take you to the practical sessions, let me tell you one of the things. There are some prerequisites that you must be prepared so in my system, there is already three services running, Node Exporter, Alert Manager, and Prometheus that I'm going to use under this tutorial. So if you haven't yet uh, ready with these services, right? And if you don't know, then you must watch my this tutorial, how to configure Alert Manager with Prometheus, where you will have idea how to start these services, okay? So which you can find under my channel, Agnas Kumar, The Learning Destinations. Okay, so you can assume this is the part one and the topic which I am covering now. This is the part two. Okay, so now let's start the practical session. So now I am at uh, Slack and you can create your own account. It is pretty much simple. All you need to just keep one email ID handy, right? So I have created my account on the Slack and now I am going to create one of the channel. So I can... Uh, use this channel to trigger my alert, okay? So I give it name like app monitoring. I say create. Skip for now. So you can see that I have created one channel, app monitoring, right? Then after that, in order to create the incoming webhook, you must visit the channel you must visit the URL api.slack.com. Okay, here you need to click on create new app. And then uh, it's okay. You take it from a scratch and you give the app name. So I'm giving this app name like monitoring. And here I need to select the workspace. So my workspace in the Slack is DevOps. So I say create app. So you can see that I am inside my app and inside my workspace. Then after that, you need to click here, incoming webhook. It's still getting loaded. I have successfully created my app. You can see here, monitoring. Then after that, you see the option is incoming webhook. You need to click here. taking a bit longer time. It's still getting loaded. Let me pause this video for as of now. Now, so after uh, clicking on incoming webhook, then you must switch on this. You must activate this options, right? So activate incoming webhook, yes. Now it is on. Now it gives us facility to create the webhook. So this is just for demo purpose. You can use this v URL and can trigger into the specific channel, like the channel which I made app monitoring, right? So in such a way, you can test it whether this webhook is working or not. So, but I need the new webhook that's why i'm going to create one okay uh, then this is still getting loaded so it gives us the facility to select the channel in which you want to trigger the alert so you can use this webhook to trigger the alert into that specific channel 
So after creating the app, you can select here the channel where you want to trigger the alert. So I have created this channel inside the select if you remember. So I am going to select this one and I say allow. So you can see here I have already uh, received the webhook URL that now I need to configure it as a receiver inside the alert manager. So step one and two is completed. So step one, I have created this channel app monitoring this one. OK. And then after that, I have created this webhook. OK, so now let's move to alert manager configuration. OK, so now I'm going to configure the receiver into the alert manager. And for that, I need to edit the alert manager configuration file, which is alert manager .yaml. OK, so here you can see that uh, it is already given everything. Now what I need to do, I simply need to change this webhook URL. OK, so this is the script for like uh, firing alert. And once uh, once the alert is resolved, then also in such condition, it triggers the notifications. OK, so I will I'm going to post this script into the description sections. You can take it from there. So let me change the URL so I can simply copy the URL from here. I say copy this configurations I have already because before tutorial I have already tested and verified everything. That's why that you can see there is already one API URL which was my previous URL when I was performing the testing. So testing was successful. Now I am performing for you. So I have created every in front of you so there is a new URL so I need to just mention this one the URL okay so here the time is you can see like group wait is 10 seconds so it will wait only 10 seconds right then interval is 10 seconds only then after that it will send the alert and this send resolve is true that means that once the alert is back to the normal state then it also in such condition it triggers the alert okay then after that you can restart the alert manager service so it can take effect okay let's check the status okay so now a step third it means that we have successfully configured the incoming webhook into the alert manager so we have done with the step number three as well now step four is testing so this is my Prometheus server. So let's check that how many services as of now up and running. So I execute up queries. Uh, let me refresh and type it again. Don't think about too much about this message. There is some mismatch in timing. That's OK. So I'm going to execute this up queries. So as of now, you can see that the three services are running node exporter, alert manager and Prometheus master. OK, so I'm going to shut down one of the service node exporter and let's see that how the message is processed into the alerts. And then after that, we will see that whether that message is triggered into this channel or not. So as of now, you can see that under the app hyper monitoring, there is no any notifications. OK, so let's shut down the node exporter. So I say system CTL stop node exporter. So it is a stop now. Let's check the status. Okay. So it is down. Let's take here again the status execute the same queries. And here you can see that it's a zero. It means the services is down. And let's check alert because there is some threshold value. So you can see as of now the status is pending. So guys, these all things I have already explained under this video. So you must watch this video. Then you will have better understanding what is the meaning of pending, firing, all those state inside the alert manager. OK, so once it will reach to the threshold value, then it will go into firing mode. So now after the threshold value it crossed, then we can see that now the alert turned into a state firing state. It means that the, the services node export services has been down now okay now let's check into the slack channel whether we received alert or not okay yeah bingo so here you can see that we have successfully received the alert okay 
that this services node export is down and we have received the alert as well. So here you can see that message, the instance downs, this instance, the 9100 port, that is what the node exporter services is running. Now let's start these services and check that whether we are receiving the alert for resolve state or not. So let's start these services. Stop start. Let's check the status here. So it's up and running. Let's check in Prometheus. Let's execute the up query first because there is some threshold value. So that's why it is just still showing firing a state, execute. Now here you can see that the services are successfully backed. Okay, now let's go to alert. And here you can see that now it's come back, came back into the normal state. It's a zero active. It means that none of the instance is down. And let's check into the Slack channel now. So here you can see that we have received just now the notifications for resolved notification as well. So when the services was down, we received notification as a firing state. And when it get back into the normal state, when it was resolved, then we received again the message with the resolve notification. So I think almost okay. all the steps I have successfully covered. And this is what I wanted to show you. Now you have better understanding that how exactly the incoming wavehook is configured. So you can receive the alert manager notification into the Slack channel. So if you have any queries, don't uh, forget to write me in the comment sections. I will answer it there. And guys, if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then I really request you please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. And don't forget to share it with your friends and the colleague. So write me if you want me to make any videos on any specific topic, I will do it for you. So that's all from this lecture, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time, thank you so much. Have lots of fun on the weekend.